it started out because my parents were got separate. They were having issues between their both of them, and they didn't get along really good. So they decided to separate, and it hurt me because my dad was really close to me, and I thought that I was in that. I didn't want to go to school no more. I didn't want to do anything. It was, my dad was in there. So I thought dropping out was a good idea. Uh, Aveline was going through a lot of family problems at that time. Her parents had separated, as she mentioned. Uh, there were some chaotic things going on in the home. Uh, and I think she was just so overwhelmed and unable to really focus that I thought at that time, I think her, her only decision was to just pull out. And she wasn't doing as well in school as, as she thought she, she should have been. I met Ms. Wasserman and she was. She used to give me advice, telling me how school was really important for me, how my future could be. One of my jobs is to call the student and to find out what exactly is going on in their life, what exactly can we do to help that student rethink that decision uh, about dropping out of school and to now talk about them, uh, with them a plan on getting them to come back to school. She recommended me in a group of girls with they have the, they were going through the same problem as me and we used to talk about our problems and I thought that those girls were actually going through the same thing as me. I worked with Perkins uh, where in school I used to help the textbook room, um, interpret like helping kids that didn't know English, everything. And I, and I thought to myself that there's some kids out there that have the same problem as me. And I thought it was a really good idea of her putting me to work and finding me things where I could actually learn how to get along with other people. I got her into counseling through the help group. And she went on her own and attended this, this group with a bunch of young ladies. And I saw her blossom. I saw her unfold. I saw her start to feel like this was an attainable goal. She started to uh, help me with interpreting. She started to help in the textbook room. Uh, she, she actually uh, just, just heard other students that would come into my office, not that I invited her in, but but she knew I dealt with students that had issues, and I think she felt like she was coming out the other side. She was coming out the other side. Ms. Wasserman helped me, so I thought I could help other students um, realize how um, high school is really important. So some kids wouldn't, didn't even go to school, so I advise them, I told them how hard it is to get back on track on your credits and how everything is hard when you don't go to school. Uh, motivation comes in all different forms. You motivate by uh, understanding, you motivate by uh, giving them uh, a chance at a, at a better future by letting them know what their possibilities would be. I look back and I thought, it was a wrong idea for me to drop out, and I could have better education if I finish high school, get my diploma, reach my goals, and everything. I see acceleration as movement, getting them to, to move and, and reach their goals and, and launch. And I think it's very important to, to get students to realize that they can reach their goals um, and graduate. And, and that's our final product, obviously, is no matter what means, I, I try to tell my students, graduation is the end goal. It doesn't necessarily have to happen at 18. It can happen at 19. It can happen at 20, as long as they, they uh, get to where they need to be. My dream, my goal was always to be a nurse. My, that's my goal, to be a nurse. 
So I thought that I was doing, I couldn't never reach my goal if I was out of school. So I was like, I thought to myself and I was like, if I don't go to school, then I can reach my goal. And I think to give her and instill that confidence in her was my goal. My, the confidence that she could do this. It made me feel like I was, I was changing. I was realizing how important school is and how could, if I tried, I, I could reach everything I proposed to do. It takes a team, it takes a village to really work with all students, make them feel that school is, is another part of home, that they have role models, that they have people there they can turn to, that they care about, that they feel care about them. And I think that when they feel that feeling, as Aveline explained, that she felt uh, comfortable in my presence. I feel happy and it makes me, it makes me feel like I want to be someone like Ms. Wasserman, help other students. Well, I don't think there's anything better in life than, than taking on a student and seeing them grow and blossom and come to me and say that she's thinking of going to nursing school. Uh, knowing what she came from and where she's headed and, and you know, talking to me about marriage but, but after school and talking me, to me about children but after her education and, you know, all the things in the order of, uh, that we would like students to embrace. And, 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 and herself first and then all these other things later, it makes me feel, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing something very worthwhile.